I'll go ahead and kick this one off. Start. As you know, 120 Sports brought me in to talk about things other than just sports. So That's I'm going right. to celebrate the Matrix. It was released on this day in 1999. Oh, not no, 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 not my homie, the Matrix that's playing in Cleveland right now. Probably getting a championship ring. I'm talking about Neo. I'm talking about Trinity, Morpheus. Everybody was in the Matrix and had some of the uh, most fellas, visually I stunning. I need help. Oh, I can't get up here. Some of the most <laughs> visually <laughs> stunning special effects I had ever seen. I actually got to see the movie a month early when I was in college. They had to do the free screen. The Coach Kobe, a one-man but, but, show. But the biggest thing of all is, does Kobe Bryant even get traded to Los Angeles? Because they traded Vladdy Divac because he was expendable because they signed Shaquille O'Neal. So he might end up playing for the Charlotte Hornets and maybe they don't even move to New Orleans. There's so many different, different ways you can go. And it's cool because Beatty comes from Texas A&M where Johnny Manziel really changed the culture mm. down there. They like to play music down practice. So throw on some Drake, throw on some T.I., throw on the schoolboy cute because you have to have something that the players can relate to so they can work, be productive, but also have some cool stuff in their ears. Just like EPMD used to say back in the day, get the Bozak. But that was another thing. That's, that's <laughs> something else. But still, he goes out very impressive. Now, we know the Leafs don't have much to play for, but he's still out there playing very hard. Three goals, one assist for yep. Senators, and he had, didn't have a point in the previous seven games. So you like the fact that he's coming up big again in front of the home fans on a Saturday night. When you look at starting back with Donovan McNabb back in the day, then he gets a guy like Ben Roethlisberger, goes on to work with Andrew Luck, Cam Newton, guys who turned out to be number one picks in the draft and had great success in the NFL. Then he worked with Johnny Manziel. I mean, the list just goes on and on. So clearly he's doing something right at this point. And ultimately, to answer the question, I ain't mad that ESPN's pumping him up that more because he was doing that before ESPN brought him up. They don't shake hands anymore. They give him full bear hugs now. Like, come on. <laughs> Players, please stop that, by the way. Let's just go back to days. Keep it professional. You shake the guy's hand. Thank he gives you. you the jersey. You hold it up in the hat. Right. I have no problem with this whatsoever. And, and I wish more guys would do this. I understand that the NFL likes to have this big display. It's kind of like graduation in a way. It's a big to-do about nothing, in my opinion.